Hi guys, it's your girl Lula Loves You and I'm back with another video. <laughs> First of all, before we start this video, I wanted to give a um, rest in peace to Whitney Houston's um, past uh, musical director, and he was her drummer as well. Um, he worked with her during her touring, I think in like the 2000s, like, no, he was with her in My Love Is Your Love Tour, and so on and so on years after. Um, he passed away, I found out about like a week ago, but I said I was going to let the Honey Bunnies know once I did a new video. So rest in peace to Michael Baker, and oh, you will be missed. Hi guys, it's your girl Lola Loves You and I'm back with another video and today's video is another installment of Diva News. Well, we know we always start off with Whitney Houston. Um, lately, Whitney been in the news for um, Jaguar Wright had just done a, a second part of her life story. It was a, it's an interview on YouTube. Check it out. She's very entertaining. I just love, I can listen to Jaguar Wright stories all day long. Even if I believe in them or not, I still think she's beautiful and brilliantly talented. And I also just like hearing her talk. I just, I, she, something about her stories, I just like hearing them. <laughs> I love how she thinks so I like how she thinks in some things you know but um I shared a clip on my Instagram and uh, um some people don't like that I shared a clip it's not even about Jaguar right being a true Whitney Houston fan but she does appreciate Whitney Houston's talent you know she considered Whitney Houston the the best female singer of all times which is the truth in my opinion um she might say a lot of things about uh you know a lot of other celebrities and you know maybe a little things about whitney you know her uh, opinions about whitney um and her and whitney later years but i don't hold that against her you know that's just her opinion but my thing is y'all can get mad about um jaguar right saying things about whitney houston or whatever the case may be but y'all don't get mad at the estate for that movie that so-called whitney houston biography movie that's you know that's kind of weird to me like you know if when somebody doing whitney wrong especially with her legacy like a whitney houston movie and y'all can nick pick what celebrities or whoever say anything about whitney y'all can't nick pick about that <laughs> i mean i'm not mad at anything but i'm just saying it's just you know that's the weird and crazy to me but anyway yep that's what i've been hearing about whitney houston in the news also they've been talking about um with um if I told you that that uh, if anybody is a true um, fan of this channel, you already knew that song was, was was supposed to be a duet between Whitney and Michael Jackson, but Michael Jackson declined, and George Michael, um, Whitney ex George Michael instead. Well, next on Diva News is the story of Carly Russell. Carly Russell is not a famous person, but she has been in the headlines. She was a lady that was allegedly abducted on a highway interstate um after seeing a toddler walking by themselves and uh, she made it back home safely and um i thank god for that that she's back home safely but uh i'm just sitting back to see you know the details and the facts come out um i don't like questioning people but the story to me is a little sh iffy it's not that she came home safely it's just it's some of the stuff is just not adding up and i'm starting to see how the news outlets and the uh police um the language they're using um so they're supposed to be later today they're supposed to do a press release to police and tell us updates about what happened um on this case um her family did a uh interview a, a first time public interview and the mama was just really not talking about much you know talking in circles her father wasn't saying nothing and it's weird that her, her boyfriend is you know speaking up for her in uh the social media outlet so this story to me is kind of shaky um hopefully the truth will come out um if she played a game allegedly um that's not funny i think the police i think the government should really charge people when they play games like because y'all don't understand human trafficking and or organ trafficking is very real out here y'all and to play games and to waste the resources 
especially when black women don't get the uh the coverage the media coverage when someone goes missing a black person in general don't get that media coverage that other races get and it's so sad that they really gave this girl this ultimate big coverage and this you know we got to find out if the story is true or not you understand what i'm saying so it's weird and i just hope this don't if if it is weird if it is not not weird if it is a false story and she made this up and you know some type of false claims i just hope that america could still don't let this tarnish the images of the black people that really is missing you understand what i'm saying that's like i just you know i just don't hope it don't taint their uh feelings towards when a black person become a missing they did you know they don't think it's a hoax you know, you got people out here like uh, Diamond and Tionda Bradley, the Bradley sisters from Chicago that's still missing to this day that really, you know, need that coverage. You know, you got uh, a lot of people, a lot of cases, um, the, a lot of people that would love for their, fa their missing loved ones to get that media coverage, to get that following, to get that people that are talking about it in the uh, social media. So I hope hopefully she didn't play a game, but... I'm just signing out in the situation. Y'all let me know in the comments down below. Do you believe the story or not? Let me know. Next on the Diva News, we have TLC icon Chili herself. She had um, met up with Kim Kardashian and Kanye West's daughter, um, North, Northwest. And um, Northwest, I think, is a fan of TLC. I remember her dressing up, I think that was for Halloween, as TLC. And she finally got to meet um, Chili from TLC. So I, I think that was such a um, a great moment, especially being a fan, looking up to someone and paying homage. And then you finally get to meet them and they seeing you paying homage to them. That's such a great thing. I always wish I had a chance to meet Whitney Houston. But I know God told her about me, Lord's willing. So, um, you know, anybody could have the chance to meet their role model. Next I think that's on such a great News thing. is Nene Leaks. Well, it's not about Nene Leaks. It's about her son. Well, apparently, uh, allegedly, um, her son Bryce um, was arrested for having possession of um, party favors, control substance. And um, instead of giving his real information, he tried to give up his brother's name, um, Brent. And I think that is so disgusting, in my opinion. Um, if you, you did the crime, you got to pay the time. So why put that on your younger brother that don't have anything to do with that? And it felt like he was just not trying to take uh, accountability for the situation. Bryce, did, wasn't you in trouble before? Like, and not to judge anybody, you know, for their uh, their uh, run-ins with the law. It's just like, you, come on now. These people have more than enough opportunities and um, access to have a better life. And you just sit up here and make mockery and foolery and just being lazy or just not caring and that's I, I hope nini i really hope nini get into him for doing something like that that was very disgusting next on um diva news ariana grande and um her husband of two years is separating and I never knew Ariana Grande was married, y'all. I love her voice and I love her music, but I never knew she was married. So I'm sad for that to happen to her. You know, anybody's divorce is, you know, that's a sad thing, you know. That's a, a passing of a marriage, you know. So um, I'm praying for her strength and um, hopefully she can make some good music out of this situation. And hopefully they separated on uh, a respectful uh in a respectful manner and they went you know their ways as two mature adults hopefully so hopefully we get some new music out of ariana grande the next diva in the news is lindsay lohan lindsay lohan and her husband welcome a baby boy in dubai congratulations lindsay lohan she looks so happy and she looks so um you can tell she has a lot of growth and a lot of reflection in life and a lot of wisdom whitney houston loved lindsay lohan as well um so i'm just happy for you lindsay congratulations and speaking of dubai 
last but not least, it's a lady um, named Tierra Young Allen. And she has been detained. She's a 29-year-old woman, African-American woman. And she's been detained in Dubai two months after being charged with a crime of screaming in, in public and they really believe allegedly that she's getting charged because she's a woman and that she was screaming at a man some type of disagreement at a coronal place um i don't know what happened really per se but it was a disagreement and she just you know i guess they were yelling at each other back and forth you know she's a grown woman and you know what i'm saying and you don't want nobody yelling and screaming at you like a child and you understand so i don't know what really happened in the situation all i know it was a yelling match and for those people that can arrest you and you're in jail or whatever prison well, jail and you're in jail for two months for just yelling if y'all don't wake up from i understand let me let me hold up I understand a lot of us got dreams we want to travel the world but everybody in the world is not good every place in the world is not a good place you know we have a lot of trouble in the united states so can you imagine going out of another country with different people and different rules and the, you know it's it's crazy and I, I see a lot of people go to dubai they think it's so beautiful and it does look good on you know seeing people vlog and photos but i know it could be a dangerous place for women and for trans women if y'all don't know it was a youtuber named um the name of Gigi gorgeous beautiful my one of my beautiful trans sisters and she really she got detained in dubai for just being transgender and you understand so if she had thank the lord that her um her husband had um family came from people that had um you know money and political power to get her out of that jail because it could have been a really a bad thing so when y'all go to these countries y'all have to be mindful of the rules and the people and um it's it's not the united states and you can really get yourself in trouble and hurt in another country so always know the rules and things like that and sometimes it's not always good to you know even having an argument or disagreement with of uh, someone in another country while you in another country because they have the upper hand so just hopefully you know she'll come home soon and everything be squared away but it's your girl lula loves you and i'll be back with another video i hope y'all enjoying this diva news make sure y'all like make sure y'all thumbs this video up make sure y'all comment and make sure if y'all not already subscribed subscribe to me and i'll be back with another video bye my honey bunnies bye